Hi guys! Okay, so I just realized that I wore this little sweater in one of my last sit down videos, so sorry about that. Today's video, we are gonna be testing out a very famous YouTuber's coffee brand. I found out from one of Emma's videos, I was watching it recently, that she started a coffee brand, and I thought that was so smart because I love coffee, okay? I absolutely love iced coffee. I drink it every day. If I don't have it, I'm like a mess. I'm not myself. Like, I love coffee, okay? So I was like, damn, that is a smart idea. That's a great great business move and I feel like she likes iced coffee just as much as me so I think she's gonna have like a really good flavor because she's gonna know what's good and what's not and I just feel like I'm gonna like like what she chooses I just like know I will <laughs> I'm super excited it's so cool to see youtubers like really step out of like YouTube and build businesses and like empires and stuff and I don't know I just think it's really really cool so my love for iced coffee I had to purchase this I'm not like always purchasing youtubers items and stuff so this was definitely new for me and I thought what more better to do than to test it on camera and let you guys know how it is and yeah maybe you guys want to purchase it for yourself no i'm not sponsored by emma by any means i just really wanted to try her coffee and if it's good i want y'all to try it too i got this in the mail yesterday it came in this cute little package and i'm gonna open it up with you guys so we'll basically unbox it together why not oh i think you open it from this side you like rip it open okay <laughs> So this is what it looks like up close. I guess it does kind of give me like the slightest Starbucks vibes because of the green and because of the crown up there. And I think this packaging is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. So it says Chamberlain Coffee Steeped Coffee Bag, which I think is so cool because I was about to go out and get a coffee maker. I didn't know if you needed that for this. I don't even think you need one of those for this. I think you just need this for like one single cup of coffee. So I think that's so nice. I'm definitely going to be making it iced. So it says tasting notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts. I hate chocolate and cherry together, but I know it's not going to taste like chocolate and cherry. It's just going to taste like a certain flavor of coffee. So I'm not too worried about it. Medium roast, my favorite. Freshly ground and nitro sealed roasted with love in california usa this is so cute oh my gosh i love the packaging so just add water is what it says on the back submerge place filter in cup and gradually pour over eight ounce of hot water per steeped bag it's like making tea and then you can add all your like creams and milks and stuff dunk the bag for 15 seconds or longer for added strength leave steeped bag in cup or until preferred taste drink after five plus minutes okay i'm gonna do that and we're gonna do that together and then i'm going to put it over ice because i would like to make iced coffee so i'm gonna taste the coffee by itself and then we're gonna put my cream and sugar in it and see how we like emma chamberlain's coffee i'm so excited let me just say that this smells so good it smells like starbucks but like honestly better wow oh my god this is so cool okay so i heated up some water in this mug about eight ounces and i'm gonna dip it in Ooh, okay i think that was too much Okay, I'm just gonna like let it do its thing. <laughs> I've never really done this ever. So this is like kind of cool. 15 seconds and then I think you do something. Wait, I already forget what's happening. <laughs> so saturate, dunk the bag for 15 seconds or longer. Leave steeped bag in cup or until preferred taste. So I'm gonna just kind of leave this in here, I guess, for five minutes. I'm coming back to life already. I can feel myself coming back to life. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here and we will revisit this in a second. Okay, so I'm back. It's been like six-ish minutes. I really didn't want to wait. <laughs> I was gonna low-key wait till like 10 minutes, but I really want to see what this tastes like. I walked back into my room because I don't know why I let this turn to coffee in my room and not the kitchen. I have no idea why, but my room smelled like coffee. It smelled like Starbucks. It smells really good, so mmm. I might need to get it to taste a little more like coffee because it tastes a little bit like water. So maybe I did that wrong. What did I do wrong? Hold on. I kind of messed up and I put way too much water because I guess it's eight ounces and I need to listen to that and not do my own thing per steeped bag. So I'm going to redo it and see what that tastes like because it was a little too watery. Okay guys, so I had a little mess up, like I said, decided to remake it. I feel so guilty for wasting one of them, but if I like this, I will definitely be purchasing more because I freaking love coffee. Seb said that it smelled really good. Really, really good, right? Did you? I never said this. I'm just kidding. It smelled really good. Mm, it smells like nuts. 
It does. It smells very nutty. I feel like I should just take a sip. I should just see what it's about so I can make my iced coffee and move on with my day. I'm going to try the coffee like by itself and then I'm going to make it into iced coffee. Let's see. And I don't like coffee like this ever. I need my cream and sugar. Like I, I know like this isn't going to be... Okay. That tastes more like coffee. I don't really know. I need my cream and sugar. Yeah, it's black rose. <laughs> it's just black coffee, and I'm just not a fan of that. So it literally just tastes like any other black coffee, kind of, but like solid. I know it's gonna be bomb with my almond creamer. So let's go do that. Do you want to taste it by itself, or do you want to wait till it's an iced coffee? I'll taste it now. I actually just a tiny sip, though. I don't want to disturb Callie. I know Callie's sleeping right next to us. Look at this There's hair. Toys the There's toys Jeez. all over the ground. My house is a puppy play fan. Like we've talked about this. Little sip. What does it taste like? It reminds me of my Aunt Judy's house. Really? Yeah, Aww. Because I would always have black coffee over there in the morning. Reminiscent of like home. Super bon. Reminds Aww. me of like a... It's good? Yeah, it is, it is good. Folders. Yeah, it's like a classic coffee. It's not like a... It's a way better than Keurig. To be honest, I do not like my Keurig. Okay, let's go dress this up, make it into iced coffee, and try that. So for anyone who cares to know, I use Oatly oat milk. It's so good. It's the best one. You get it from Target. There's no dairy and it's gluten-free. And then I use the almond creamer sweet and creamy flavor. So I'm going to add that. Are we ready? Oh my god, this is a solid size. So like basically, if you make 8 ounces of MS coffee and then you add ice to it, and I guess add milk and cream right, you would basically have a venti from Starbucks, so. <laughs> Do you like it? I like it a lot, like a lot. Mm. With my additions, really just brings out the flavors that she chose. It almost tastes like straight up like nuts, like coffee okay, and nuts. Yeah, like, <laughs> okay. I think this said it had like hints of chocolate or something too. It was like chocolate, cherry, and nuts. Emma, I prefer regular milk. If you're watching this, fire. I really, really like this. I just, I want to describe it better to them so that they understand. It's a very robust, like rich. Like chocolate, like chocolate milk with like nuts and like coffee. I can see the nutty mm. flavor that you're talking about. Yes. Like, the nut, like, mm. I highly recommend this, you guys. This is so freaking good. Um, like you need this in your life. If you're an iced coffee lover like me, then yeah, you need to get this. <laughs> I'm like a fan. I stand. That's so cool that YouTubers are out here starting their own businesses. Like I can't get over this. Like hold on. It's so creamy. I've never had, I mean, I know I just added like a bunch of cream, but like the flavor just makes it, the cream just tastes even better in it. It's like waffles, like nutty waffles. I'm honestly surprised in a good way. I thought it was going to be great, but I didn't think I was even going to love it as much as I do. And I didn't think I would repurchase because I thought it was just more of like to try it. But I think I'm going to repurchase now. So 10-10, lit. Anyways, I guess that's it for this portion of the vlog. And I don't know what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm.